This road here was the um, front line during the war. So you the souvenir shops are in abundance. Look at the roofs. These are big stone slabs covering the roofs. So here we are with just a few of our close friends go across this bridge. Very pretty view over here. You can see how steep this is, and there comes Stu. These spacers in between, I guess, to uh, keep you from falling. So there's the little beach. Some of these stones came from the bridge. This is quite a river here. Yeah, this just keeps going on and on with more shops. The uh, reason for the stone slabs on the roof is they provide insulation. Now those are interesting. Those are from the war, I'm sure. There's another use for shell casings, pins. This is a wonderful view from here. You can see all of the little shops with their slate roofs and the bridge. 1566. Sultan Suleiman's Bridge. Afterwards, it was called the Great Bridge because it was a miracle of that time's architecture. It was the largest one arch bridge in the world. And afterwards, uh, the old bridge. Now we refer to it as the new old bridge. It's not old anymore, so what else can you call it? And before this bridge was built, they used to hang a chain bridge at the exact same place, only much lower. And only one person could cross it at the time. You went at your own risk because it was swinging so bad that it slowed down the trade. So they needed a bigger and more solid bridge. So Sultan sent one of his architects, whose name was Hairuddin, and this poor architect was so nervous about the bridge being open when it, it was finally finished uh, that he fled uh, from Mostar and he uh, had prepared his own funeral because he was afraid that if it collapsed or something went wrong that Sultan would behead him. This was an armory at the one Romans time and now map. it's a museum. To their province called Pannonia. Tower on the other side and too. The other uh, tower is called Halebia and uh, that's where Mo uh, Mostar lived. Mostar were the bridge keepers, bridge guards. They lived there 24 hours a day guarding the bridge. And, um, and that's uh, another theory of how the town got the name. Mostar the bridge keepers, Mostar the town. Cemetery here. Turkish style mosque. Um, uh, in the mother tongue, in Bosnian, about ethics, morals, problems in the society, and social issues. There's a lot of symbolism in Islam. For instance, the way he climbs up above the people, it's to symbolize the way Muhammad used to climb above his followers when he would talk to them. Uh, also, if you look at the mosque, there is not a lot of furniture here, because the first mosques were built on the image of Muhammad's house, and Muhammad was a Bedouin. He didn't have a lot of furniture in his home. So that's why the, the mosques are very humble in that way. Also, you probably know there are no pictures, no sculptures in Islam. That's considered idolatry. So um, to compensate not being able to show any sculptures and, and faces, uh, uh, they, they developed both calligraphy and also they uh, decorated with plants. That's not something you direct your prayers to. So there's a lot of nice painting and a lot of nice calligraphy. Here we are in a, this is still the old section. It's still Muslim. 
but it's a wider, more modern street. Into a traditional house of the Ottoman period. Pure wool. In the house, you'll see where women used to make them. So they're usually it's, it's like an authentic carpet. They're very expensive now, and they're not two that are alike. Look at this covering on the ground. Uh, we'll have of, uh, Interesting fountain. This surface was easier to walk on than the rounded cobblestone that we have here. I see three of them. Oh, here's another couple over here. The bedrooms were down here, and the living room is up here. You can see the patio from up here in the nice pattern and the turtle cage. There's some pretty stools and here is the loom. I told you the downstairs they had the bedrooms um, and up here were the living rooms. So there's a small nursery there for the mother and the child so she didn't have to go all the way down to be near her baby. There's a crib and a little bed. You can take a look at it later. And uh, in Bosnia, women are supposed to rest 40 days after childbirth. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 I know. That's nice. Uh, that's nice. So, uh, as I said, the daughter marries, even today, because of the very bad economic situation, because of our culture and tradition, um, men, uh, usually, and women, stay with their family uh, for longer than you're probably used to, um, up until 30. Um, so underneath here, you have coal, and the coffee is kept warm all the time. So when the guests arrive, we had this custom. You just try to squeeze in so everyone can come in. Um, when the guests arrived, they would be served coffee and whoever got their coffee cold was not welcome. <laughs> we prepare the coffee in a way that we buy the beets, we import the beets, we don't have coffee here in Bosnia, and we roast them in the oven. And we have uh, this hand grinder and we grind it manually in front of the guests so they see it's fresh and that you've just prepared it. You drink it by never putting the cube inside the coffee but under your tongue, and then you drink the coffee through the sugar, so it melts in your mouth. Mm. It's not very oh. good for your teeth, but you're on holiday. <laughs> and also, you get, a, you get a glass of water on the side, so every time you sip a bit of coffee, you get a little water to wash out the taste. So next time you sip coffee again, you get the full taste in your mouth again. So it's all about combining the two and keeping it as long uh, you know, as possible, lady, right? So. Um, it was a status symbol. So these are. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my god. She was very attractive. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, yes, they're great. Yes, they're yes, so yes, yeah, yeah, it's not a tent. They uh, like uh, large uh, women. <laughs> So when you walk, you don't drag it with you, so it's hygienic. Okay. Yeah. And if you bend forward, it doesn't reveal any of, God forbid, your skin. <laughs> so um, you don't show anything. So bright colors for young ladies, a bit darker for the older ones, but never black because of the heat. And Outside then, of the walls of the man that wasn't a part of the family came in, she had to be covered down to your armrest, and she had to be covered under hair. But Bosnian women just cover half of their hair. On the photo over there? Mm -hmm. So it's just a part of the national costume. If you want to dress up a little bit, you have small coins on your forehead to make it extra festive. And the men... So more war damage. And the shells they used when they landed inside started a fire. So they were burned out. Here's some nice watercolors. There's some typical food. Typical shop stuff. All kinds of little goodies. <laughs> 